I'm Natalie Fuller and I lead the data analytics team at CAFU. As head of data analytics, my role is to turn the data into insights. We're a data-driven business. We use data to optimize our strategy, we streamline business processes, and we always ensure that we're enhancing the customer experience. It's the perfect role for me. It combines my passion for mathematics and my love of technology. Although a male-dominated industry, it's great to see more and more women coming into the technology sector. Although there is more work to be done, with just 26% of the industry being made up of women. I think it's really important that we set out role models for young women, to see other women in technology. For me, I was inspired by my mother, who was a project manager in the technology giant IBM. When it comes to a work-life balance, we as humans tend to get so carried away with our work because we love and we enjoy it. Sometimes we forget that there's life beyond our screens. It's really important to ensure that you have a good balance in your life. I love my work, but I always ensure I have a good life outside of work. This ensures a positive focus on my well-being. This balance, it translates into always ensuring I'm giving my best to CAFU. I'm productive and I'm able to come up with ideas to do things better. For any young woman aspiring to get into te the technology sector, my advice would be to just do it. You will love it, and especially when joining a tech startup, you'll find that you learn so much every day. You contribute a lot, and every day is different. So follow your heart, don't let any obstacles get in your way. This International Women's Day, I'd like to share a motto that I always go by, and it, always, it also happens to be a reminder to all of our brilliant young women. Always be confident in everything that you do. Confident is the key to making sure that you have your eye on that goal in the horizon. It'll help make sure that you achieve it. You can do anything and you can achieve anything you put your mind to. So what are you waiting for?